Okay, everybody, so this is going to be my tutorial coming out finally for the order sensitive RAM that I had on my scrolling marquee. And I'm going to try to shorten it down because I did, I already made a tutorial and uploaded it, but it was just too long. So I'm going to try to make it uh, a little bit quicker. So, um,. This is just uh, the normal RAM that I figure most people make in Minecraft, and it works like this. Say you uh, turn uh, those two on and then write it to slot one. And then say you leave, yeah, you put these two torches on and then write it to slot two. And then you'll have read from slot one right there that'll show what you wrote. And, and that's RAM, that's memory, but it's not, you can't tell what order that you pressed them in. You just tell what you pressed. And, um, so that won't really work for all the things. So, um, basis of mine is the D flip-flop or the D latch, which is this right here is the vertical version of it. And if you don't know what it does, this is what it does. This is the output right there, and that is the D input, and this is the clock signal. So when the clock hits, when you get power to the clock signal, this output is changed to whatever is right here. So if that's off, that'll stay off. But say this is on, and you hit the clock, the output will turn on. And then, now you can change this, do whatever, that stays on. That's why it's, it's memory, because it memorizes what, what that was. But now that it's off, you hit the clock, and now that one goes off. That's how the D flip-flop works, because this is the, it's called the D input. That's why it's called the D flip-flop. But, um, all right, now the next thing you need to know is a shift register. And what a shift register does is it's a line of D flip-flops lined up back to back to back so that the output of one is the input of the next and you do it for however long and I'm gonna build that real quick for you alright so um, I've built four uh, D latches in a line like I was telling you this is a four bit shift register is what it's called because there's four of them but um, you can see the output of this one is the input of the next and the output is the input of the next on and on and here's the clock signal down here the only thing you really need to know about that is you need a uh, an it's called a pulse gate or a monostable circuit or a edge trigger it's all the same but what it does is it just shortens the pulse so that it's a very short just a small pulse of um power and also you need to know that this one needs to receive power first and then this and then that all the way down the line so it it uh comes this direction hits this gate one tick um delay and then hits this one and then one tick delay and then it hits that one all the way down um, in real life your shift registers will actually be clocked all at the same time instead of like this but in minecraft this is really the only way I can make it work but um, anyways you only have one input right here and it's called a shift register because everything is sh everything is shifted to the right so I'll show you that's turned on you hit the the uh, clock, and so now this uh, this uh, output is turned on. And now next time you hit the clock, this output will be shifted over here because it's the input for this D latch. So when this clock hits, it'll be shifted over here, and this will be shifted over here, and this will be shifted over here. That's how it works. So um, and you only have one input right here at the end. So. See how this, the one that was on is shifted right here. And it'll be really noticeable, say, when you do this. Ah, oh, what is that? Make the rain go away. But, um, see how it's on, off, on, off. And so you hit it again, and everything will be shifted to the right. Watch. So now that one's off, and then on, off, on. Everything is shifted over. Now that's how a shift register works, but how my memory, my order-sensitive memory works, is um, 
you have several of these lined up side by side by side which is what I've built over here so this is one shift register and then this is one shift it's just lined up side by side and these are just the same thing as that is over there just four uh, bits long so what you do is you try to you clock them all at the same time you know like the the clock is the same it goes down there and all the way down here and then across across the uh, the gates like this just across so that they basically get clocked all at the same time but um and that right there don't worry about that's just for the uh, display board over here so it's easier to see what's going on so say you have that one on say this is one two and then three so you have one turned on you can see that torch number one is on that's this is row one that's row two and that's row three row that's one on and then say you want three next as long as you're clocking all of them then it'll work see three and then say you want a one again and then a two because we haven't done two yet alright now let's look at the display board and you can see the exact order that you pushed it so it's you hit one and it's from right to left on this particular display you hit one three one again and then a two see that one three one two so that is that's order sensitive memory that's how it works and all I did for the um, to release it I had the outputs of every one of these set up to um, AND gates so that they are time released in a certain order in the order that I pressed it and I'll, I'll try to show you over here if I can find it it's uh, there it is so this is the same thing as what I built over there hopefully you can kinda understand what's going on a little bit these are just uh... man I don't know why it's lagging so much but uh... these are just shift registers going they are fifteen bits long that's why it can uh... memorize fifteen characters and then there's twenty six of them one for each letter in the alphabet so that's how that works and then these are AND gates right here vertical uh, versions of AND gates hooked up to all the outputs and um... this is the uh... inter key right here comes all the way down hits this pulse gate and then hits this is the first character that you punched and it hits all these AND gates at the same time and releases it and then hits these uh, AND gates and releases it so that um say the Z is on it'll be turned on and sent down that way in the certain or in the same order that you press the button and then once they're released they go down here A starts down there and the, all the way through to Z Z is his last one over here but they come down here and go to I call them display drivers I guess but it's just it, it kinda just decodes this one little pulse it decodes it and splits it up into the five different um, for the display. Like you, can, this is kind of a version of the display here: one, two, three, four, five. You know, levels, and it splits it up into the different pulses and delays, and then travels all the way down here, and then the display is right in there so these are just all the letter um, decoders or whatever you want to call them just and I'm gonna I'll make another tutorial for how to uh, make these how the I actually make each individual letter so um well that's that tutorial um you've already seen it work on the uh, scrolling marquee 
and um, I'm going to demo something else, another use for the order sensitive memory that I came up with. Alright, so this is another use for the order sensitive memory, and um, what I've made is a reprogram reprogrammable door lock, and other people have made, uh, I guess, reprogrammable door locks, but I tend to think mine is, I guess, better, or at least user friendly more user friendly than most people's because you don't have to mess with torches or anything like that like anybody can use it just um, with these buttons alright so you are inside whatever building that you choose and this is a the master lock you can input a six digit master code and there's there's four buttons here and you could put a six digit code so you can reuse as many as you want so you could do like six threes if you wanted to but just for showing, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, and then I'll just do two, one. So the code is one, two, three, four, two, one. That's the master code now. So you open the doors and go outside. And you can set this up differently, you know. I just have it on a timer so it closes automatically. But um so you input the code. One two three. And this is, you know, from outside, obviously. Four. and then one and hopefully the doors will open there they go that is your and then you can close the doors if you want and then you know open it and then close it but that is your another use for the um, order sensitive memory I haven't really come up with any others at the moment but there you have it. So, um, hopefully you like this tutorial and uh, get many uses of it and go on to make awesome redstone creations. So, uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you need anything else.